Hi, so today's lookbook is going to be based on a pinafore dress. It's also one of my favourite items in my wardrobe for spring and summer. The 90s trend is definitely back in and all of our childhood classics such as dungarees and pinafores have also come back and I'm really excited to start it up. So let's get started. Offer number one. If you're a bit afraid of the neon trend, then wearing it with a pinafore or dungarees are perfect because it helps to break up the colour um, so it doesn't look as bright or bold um, and you can still incorporate a bit of a neon pop into your outfit as well. If you've got any oversized knits that you would like to use for your spring or summer outfits, then pairing it with a pinafore dress is perfect because it stops it from looking too oversized and frumpy and it also makes it look really girly at the same time. Pinafore dress also doubles up a skirt, which means that you get the best of both worlds. The comic book print has been all over the high street and I really love it. It's just a really fun print to have and you've got all of these cool words like wow and bam and kaput and stuff all over you, which I think looks pretty damn sweet. Because it's such an oversized crop top, I've actually changed this pinafore dress into a skirt um, and most pinafore dresses should have a waistband so it makes it really easy just to tuck in the top half into your body and then you can really show off the crop top or any oversized t-shirts you like. I love wearing an all black outfit but to stop myself looking from too boring and drab I actually paired it with this lace crop top. It shows a little bit of flesh, it's a little bit cheeky but you're not showing like your whole of your midriff so it's really good and it's still flattering at the same time, it's a very tight fit. I'm also mixing textures um, which kind of breaks up the pattern and breaks up the colour because otherwise it would be a bit too much and a bit too doom and gloom. To break up an all black outfit, I also paired it with these brown sunglasses from Urban Outfitters. These brown sandals also helps to break it up and also helps to elongate your legs because it's kind of like matches my skin colour and I am all for longer legs. So I decided to go all 60s with this outfit and so I've got big bold monochrome stripes, I've got high neck and big round sunglasses. It's still really flattering, it's still fitted. These Casper padded shoes are from Urban Outfitters and they are the most comfortable sandals in the world. I just love going back in time with this outfit. Okay, so I think this would be the classic pinafore outfit, a white shirt and a black pinafore dress and it may take you back to your old school days when you had to dress up in uniform but to give it a bit of a modern twist we've got some leather accents on the pockets. The shirt's not made out of cotton but a really soft chiffon so it keeps it looking a bit more feminine and less old school. And the shirt is also a bit of an oversized fit as well so it kind of billows in the wind and it doesn't look really really prim and proper. So finally, if you've got any old work blouses or any posh formal blouses, then this is a great time of pairing it with a pinafore dress because it keeps it looking a bit more playful and it gives it kind of like a childlike twist. I really love this kind of black bow around the neck because it reminds me of something out of Gossip Girl or Blair Waldorf. So that's the end of the lookbook, I really hope you liked all of the outfits, let me know in the comments which one was your favourite if you had one and also tell me how you would style a pinafore dress because I would love to have some more ideas as well. So I hope you're all having a really great day and I'll see you in my next video, bye!